taking off the wedding dress in the middle of the Everglades. We are completely exposed now at this point. It's windy and the wedding dress is still here. Day two, here we come, baby. I'm trying to get energized, it's just not working. We did, we did survive the first night. And we had lights and power. We did end up getting lights and power. However, we did lose a towel to the wind. Not overboard, but in the pee bucket. So that will be going in the trash bag very soon. <laughs> will not be keeping that. But we're gonna start breaking down the tent here soon and all that because it's forecasted to rain today. We don't wanna get caught by a stray shower and everything is soaking wet. So we're gonna try and break it down get it packed away and then we'll go ahead and relax for a little bit this morning. So that means you gotta get up. Nah, he can stay sleeping for a little bit. It's Harold. We make exceptions around here for Harold. We have to. Wedding dress is off. About to get the tent taken down. Then we're gonna go meet up with dad right there. Meet up with him and just hang out for a little bit. We gotta get this tent taken down because it's windy. Uh oh. Already caught a little snapper this morning. Someone's up with the GoPro. Finally got it yeah. figured out so we're able to record finally again. But we left dad this morning. We hung out then for a little bit, had breakfast. Just Pop Tarts and Yoohoo. Beautiful breakfast. Stapleton here down in the Everglades. We are at our first spot. We're gonna go ahead and bottom fish now. Harold's getting a couple of the rigs made up. Still looking for that grouper and snapper today though. Maybe to pass in Cobia, that'd be nice. Pass in Cobia. Supposed to be cold front pushing through today. So it's supposed to be rainy and windy and the wind is definitely here. So making a little challenge and had to run to a couple spots. Finally found a good one. Gonna fish it up a little bit. Got it. Nope, nope, no, he's nope. still on. There you go. There you go. Keep it on. I'm gonna pull up with your left. Pull up towards you and crank down. Crank, crank, crank down. Going down with your left. Now pull back up. Oh yeah, no glass. Girl got him out of the rock already. Right, what we got? Oh, look at that bull and everything, dude. Damn, lost it. Dang, Megan can do it. But here, okay. By the way, we heard thunder, so we are putting up our tiny little piece of acrylic that only covers the front. So we're gonna have to make shift something with a towel or something along the side here, so that way we don't get too wet. Not the bottom. Oh no, he, he's taking you where he wants. Huh? That's gonna be a nice little grouper right there, I think. Boy, he wants, he knows right where he's going. There you go, there you go. You got him coming. Wow. That is a lot bigger of a Goliath group than I was expecting. Oh, he's got one of our hooks. Yeah, I think that's the one that broke off not too long ago. Harold just lost a hook on that one. I think we found it. Yeah. Go ahead and grab him. Harold just caught that nice Goliath on his tiny little reel right there. Yeah. His tail's all busted up. And we got our hook back. He He's the one that just broke us off on one of the big rods. Get him, boy. Get him. Another one. The way he was digging more aggressive, I thought it was a gag. Like he wasn't like doing that, he was like digging. Oh. All that poor baby. That's a lot of that's a lot of commotion, Harold. There you go. Now stop crank, pull up. Good job. What's she gonna have? What's she gonna have? I see it. Oh, look alive. Them things are eating everything.
Well, it's here. It's gonna get cold and windy. Yeah, look at that gust right there. That's an angry gust. Oh yeah. We got all of our lightning rods down. Everything's down up top. We're keeping our main four poles out there that we use and everything. And we're, we've got our little clear acrylic out. It is getting windy and bad here, folks. Ooh. Here we go. We're gonna go find our Thunder Buddy, AKA Dad, and tie up to him. So we had to tuck you guys away from the nastiness, but look at how bad it was. Holy crap, and now it's cold, and it is lightning bad. We had the one side curtain up. <laughs> it came in a little bit. A little bit. Hopefully our stuff is still dry. We don't know where dad's at. <laughs> he's our, uh, he's got more coverage. So we were trying to run to him, but very quickly our, our spot got compromised. So we had to uh, stop and hold our position here. It's almost lunchtime and it is Good thing we had our lunch nasty. <laughs> it is nasty out here. There's still lightning popping off. So we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna try to do. Maybe hopefully dad comes up around the corner or something. <laughs> We were going to try to run to one of the chickies, but we decided just to stop because it was catching up to us pretty quick. It was running about 30, I think it was running about 30 mile an hour, that storm. Yeah. That storm went okay, from, I think it's that? over there to, it's Yo, here. Like they survived. Right. Yep. As did we. Megan's over there reading her book inside the cabin, nice and warm. Nice and warm and uh, dry in there. Ugh. It's yeah, still raining. Rain. It's cold and wet. That's not what we're updating them about. It is. Okay, oh, it's windy. Oh. How does it stick? It's, it's raining and it's still windy. It is super windy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that wind going across the water right there. Whoa, oh, we got pushed out here. Oh, look, there's a branch on this side of the island. Branch? I'm gonna put you guys back so you guys stay dry. Good. Yeah. Where are you going? Do you know yet? No, not at all. You know what you're going to be doing? I'm so yeah. Alright, so Dad has left us. We are now fishing once again. Of course, the clouds still look a little ominessing, but that's what's heading this way, and it's definitely gotten brighter, and at least it stopped raining, so. Things are looking up. We're gonna fish and catch a big one now. I think. You can hear the wind coming through the island in the form of water falling off the leaves. Unfortunately, all the water has turned milky and that typically turns on these catfish. Case in point right there. No way. Have to be a jack or a mackerel. Oh, oh that's a nice one. Keeper that's gag. Nice Keeper oh, yeah. gag. baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a big one. Oh, that's awesome. We've been coming down here for the last couple years. We haven't been getting them. This trip, we caught three of them. 24 and a half. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. 24 and a quarter. Mm. It is a quarter to four. Mm -hmm. So we got an hour left to fish, and we're gonna probably going to try and hit one or two more spots and meet up with dad, pop, and Jake and uh, call it a day. Other than the rain being off and on, fishing has been off and on. It's been pretty good though. Grouper, snapper, one little gato. Not bad. I think dad, if you turn, if you look over there, I think dad's about to pop through the island. Go catch it. There she goes. Alright y'all, we're gonna go find a we're gonna go find a new fishing spot. This one ain't doing it. I'll take a big mangrove. Oh it came off. All that wow. for nothing. Well the rain has slowed everything down. Rain has slowed everything down. So now we're gonna go ahead and get ready to go to bed. Which requires about four hour, hours worth of work. Here we go. 
So quick little rundown what we got going on. It is just a touch too windy in our normal sleeping spot over there to sleep. So we are in the channel that runs perpendicular to the way that the wind is going. So this way our tent doesn't get blown too much. So we're just trying to find a nice little section of rock close to the island, but not too close. And enough of a section where if our anchor accidentally comes undone, it has time to grab it and we don't end up hundreds of yards away or away from where we originally started. Which I think we're coming up on a nice little set right there. That may work. We'll go ahead and mark that. Mark it, we're gonna turn around and check it out. Hopefully we can find a nice little spot here soon so we can get this tank going. This is very aggravating. It is windier than crap. We decided we didn't need to sit over there because the wind was dying down a little bit. So we came over here and it's it's just not fun. The wind is hitting us at a straight 90 degree angle. The current is like, well, I guess I'll try today. It's just enough to where it's hitting us straight from the side. It sucks. I ain't gonna lie. The wind should die down tonight. It's forecast to die down a little bit. Hope it'll die down soon. Hope it'll die down sooner. At least the current picks up to where it comes from one direction or the other. Right there is a gust of about 25 30. It has been a struggle of survival. We are taking this thing down in a couple minutes. Once dinner's done, of course. Once dinner's done, we are taking this wedding dress down and we're just sleeping in the tent. If a mosquito can somehow suck my blood in this weather, he deserves to. He deserves it. I mean, we got two holes up there, another one back here. That part keeps coming undone. Like, seriously. Oh, and we're sideways again. Now we're rocking and rolling. Rocking. <laughs> oh my God. And you're Dr. Reverend. <laughs> God bless America. I'm done with today. I'm done. Now we left our moon tan lotion at home right next to the no wind lotion. The good thing about adventures is you never know what can happen. We have taken off the wedding dress in the middle of the Everglades. We are completely exposed now at this point. But the good news is, already less of a headache. That's fantastic. What? There's dad right up that little white light. Still can't tent camping. Tent's all good, the tent is secured. The tent looks great. However, the wedding dress was causing so much the hindrance, we didn't want to lose anything. I gotta put that back down. Don't worry, it's got a thing on it. I ain't gonna poke my eye out, kid. Anywho. The wedding, was, the wedding dress was just causing so much of a hindrance, it wasn't worth it anymore. Now, these two yahoos are already in bed. We didn't find any. Well, yeah, of course, this thing's vibrating like a mother. We didn't find any more shrimp, anything like that. So I think we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. Thank you so much for joining us. I can't even talk right now, I'm so flustered. Thank you so much for joining us on this awesome adventure. We'll be doing, uh, we've got a half a day tomorrow. Should be a great day. We're only staying until like 11.30, but it's always fun. You never know what this place is gonna give you. It's always an adventure out here. I mean, the fact that we're able to do this right now and look for shrimp and crab in January is incredible. If you like this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.